Welcome back everyone. In this video, we are going to talk about the medial collateral ligament, also known as the MCL. Uh, the medial collateral ligament runs along the inner side of the knee and it has important stabilizing functions to the knee, mainly by helping keep the knee out of going into what we call a valgus uh, type of position or a knock knee position. And so this ligament, unlike the ACL, is often injured by a contact mechanism where an athlete or anyone for that matter who uh, sustains a, a blow to the outer side of the knee, which forces the knee uh, in, in an inward manner. And so this can cause an injury to the MCL. The MCL can be injured a, a variety of different ways, uh, really uh, different grades of severity. You can have a mild strain without any looseness to the ligament, or you can have a partial tearing with a small amount of laxity or looseness to the ligament, and then severe injuries where the ligament is completely torn and the ligament isn't functioning at all and the knee is uh, loose in that regard. Fortunately, uh, a lot of times the MCL can be treated without surgery, uh, bracing, rehabilitation, and things like that, but in some cases the MCL will be treated with surgery. It's important to realize that other injuries can happen at the same time as an MCL injury, and so even though an examination uh, is typically really good at uh, diagnosing an MCL injury, an MRI is often used to help confirm this, but to also evaluate the knee for additional injuries uh, to the cartilage or the meniscus uh, in the knee to make sure that that is not missed. So uh, in this video we will uh, talk about the anatomy, go over some of that, and uh, hopefully you guys find that informative. So we're back looking at our knee model here and we're looking at the medial collateral ligament, also called the MCL. And so if this is the lateral side, or more on the outer portion, and this is the inner side, which is between your legs, that's called the medial side. And so that's why this is called the medial collateral ligament. The MCL attaches to the thigh bone. It runs down across the knee joint and attaches to the shin bone. And so the MCL is really important in terms of resisting what we call a valgus force to the knee. So you can imagine that if an individual is standing and gets struck on the outer side of the knee, as the force goes through the knee, imagine my thumb is the force, this starts to push the knee open like this. And so if enough force goes across the knee, you can imagine how that will result in varying degrees of tearing through the MCL. And so if you have a lesser amount of force, you might have a sprain or a partial tear, but if you have a lot of force, you can have a complete rupture of this MCL. And in fact, there's more stabilizing ligament structures back this way. That's called the posterior oblique ligament. And so as the force continues to the knee, you'll get a tear of the MCL. 